I'm Carol Angela Davis. Okay, will the U.S. Supreme Court allow the Trump administration to change the way the population is counted, okay? Fundamentally altering our democracy and further entrenching Republican gerrymandering. Now that's what happens if the court lets the United States Census include a question uh, that could keep more than four million people of color from immigrant communities from voting and, excuse me, from being counted. Bringing me to our slay word, which is egregious, outstandingly bad, awful, because if the U.S. Supreme Court lets this happen, it will be an egregious exercise of the court's power. It could also result in billions of dollars of federal funds being lost by these communities. We're talking about federal funding that each state receives for housing, for education, and for food, okay? Now, this is the work of U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross, also of Steve Bannon, and also Chris Kobach. Now, already, a family dispute has revealed that the late gerrymandering expert, uh, Thomas Hofeller's work trying to benefit the Republican Party with this type of question. Okay, Hofeller concluded that a count based only on citizenship rather than the population as a whole, quote, would be advantageous to Republicans and non-Hispanic whites. And parts of Hofeller's research are quoted verbatim in the U.S. Justice Department documents that were used to request the addition of this citizenship question. Now, 81-year-old financier Wilbur Ross, who oversees the U.S. Census Bureau, former Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, and former White House strategist Steve Bannon are some of America's most rabid voter suppression architects. This is their work. Courts have already found that Ross violated both the Census Act and the Administrative Procedures Act by lobbying the DOJ to request the change in the first place and ignoring his own department's research that showed it would lead to a significant undercount. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Thanks for watching.